Now his brothers had gone to graze their father's flock near Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, As you know, your brothers are grazing the flocks near Shechem. Come, I'm going to send you to them. Very well, he replied. So he said to him, Go and see if all is well with your brothers and with the flocks, and bring word back to me. Then he sent him off from the valley of Hebron. For brass you will have gone. In Genesis 37 is the account of Joseph and his brothers. His father loved him specially, causing his brothers to despise him. Joseph's brothers were notorious and were always getting into mischief. Being a goody two-shoe, Joseph often reported them to his dad, which made his brothers hate him even more. But friends, as bad as Joseph's brothers were, while they were away in Shechem, tending to their flocks, their father Jacob was still interested in their well-being. He therefore sent Joseph to go to Shechem to see if he was well with them and bring him word. Friends, God is aware of your situation. The Bible tells us in Psalms 34 verse 15 that his eyes are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. Believe it or not, but he knows exactly where the shoe pinches in your life, no matter how much you put on a good show. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. Take a look at the fowls of the air. They do not sow, reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father fits them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They do not toil, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If God can clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Shall he not much clothe you, O ye of little faith? Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? She may even forget, but God will never forget you. God has engraved you in the palm of his hands, the very hairs on your head and numbered by him. So chill out and relax because God is aware of your situation. We do not serve a high priest who isn't touched by our feelings. Trust me when I say this. Man may not, but God can see beyond the pretty makeup and the designer clothes. Friends, he is aware of your secret pain. He knows about the ugly situation that you often grin and bear. So take no thought saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? How shall we be clothed? Because your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. While Joseph's notorious brothers were away in Shechem, their father Jacob was still interested in their well-being. If you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give good gifts to you? I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God will perfect all that concerns you. He will not forsake the work of his hands. So chill out and relax. God is aware of your situation. Remain blessed in the awesome name of Jesus. Is there any topic that you would like me to make a video on? Please share it in the comment section below. My inspirational ebooks have been a blessing to many. 
I will post the link to them in the comment section down below. Grab yourself a copy today. Be sure to check out the other playlists in this channel. If you were blessed by this video, don't forget to click the like button. It really helps my channel if you do so. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to this channel for a new video every Wednesday. Until next time, stay blessed and be encouraged. For brass, you will have gold. For iron, you will have silver everywhere.